I'm still at the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology. It's it's proven to be a very progressive institution over the years. It currently has a female vice chancellor. That's one thing University of Ghana doesn't. We've not had yet in our entire history. Maybe we will soon. But I'm, I'm excited about um, this person I'm coming to talk to. So Ben, introduce yourself to everybody. Let's get to know you and then we start the conversation, right? Yep. Okay. So first, maybe your name, what course you do, which level you are. Let's start from there. Okay. My name is Ben Dekito Wusujomo and I'm a student in Kiran University. I'm a second year physics student. You're a second year physics student? Yes, I'm a second okay. year physics student. And you're a student with special needs, correct? Pardon. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I took off my nose mask because you are reading my lips. Mm -hmm. well, how does that help you? Um, my lip reading is difficult, but it's the only way I can communicate with people because I'm not really proficient in sign language. Uh, yes, so I have to learn how to lip read. That means that you can't hear? No, I'm severely hearing impaired. You, you have hearing impairment? Yeah, very severe. Very severe. Yeah, so like I can't hear myself speak. You can't hear yourself speak? No, no. And you're studying physics? I... No, I mean, I just wanted to Science. be sure. And you're in second year. Are you on campus? Yes. I mean, residential? Yeah, I'm on campus. Which hall? Yes, I still hostel. Oh, so you're on campus then? Yes. You're not non-resident? No, no. Okay, so tell me your experience studying physics on tech campus as someone who has severe hearing impairment. Mm -mm, nah, <laughs> like in my family, I'm the only one. You're the only one who has yes, hearing Yes, there's in your no family. record of disability in my family. Okay. Yeah, well, at one. what point did you discover that you have hearing impairment? Were you born with it? No. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, they've not really accepted my hearing impairment. Yeah, they are still coming to terms with it. Your family? But like, I've got to live with it like that, yeah. Wow. But uh, uh, how do you then study physics in class when you have hearing impairment? In my class? Yeah. No, I'm the only one with hearing impairment. Yeah. But like, because I rely on lip reading, when the lecturer is teaching, he has to take off the nose mask. Okay, you rely on lip reading. Yes. So the lecturer has to take off the nose mask. Yes, but the lip reading, I can't read everybody's lips. Yeah. So it's not all the lecturers who can't help me. Yeah. So sometimes at the class, I meet the TA okay. and they explain some concepts. Do your lecturers understand you? Do all of them support you? Yeah, yeah like you see, you can't get 100% help. Right. Yeah, so at least the TA, they help 50%. Mm. And then I help myself 50%. So how is studying physics like? Because me, that I don't have hearing impairment, physics, mm. I get... D and E and F, yeah. that one, flat. Yeah. But you there, you are doing the whole course. Yeah, I don't understand. So just tell me, how does it how does it feel like? You love it? Hmm, I can't really explain. <laughs> I can't really explain. I'm trying to understand, so try. I don't know, I can't really explain. So how is it like, really? Hmm. Is it tough? Yes. Yeah. I can't really explain. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying studying physics? Physics? Yeah. Yes, I love physics. Like, it was my first choice. Because my future career, physics is a major part of it. What do you want to do? I want to be a robotic engineer. What is that? A robotic engineer. <laughs> like, it's, it's... It sounds like plenty, robot like robots. And you're the engineer. No, like, yeah, you want to like make robots. Robotics. robotics? No, it's not about robots. Uh, it's also about... Automation, mechanical, and it's a broad concept. Yeah, you see. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I want to do, robotic I, engineer. I, I feel like uh, I'm uh, like an unlettered person right now, like robotic <laughs> engineer, sounds, automation. It sounds so. somehow far-fetched, but yeah. that's what I want to do. So why do you want to do that? Hmm. You just want to do... Yeah, like I have the desire to do that. Hmm. I don't know, but when I'm the robotic engineering aspect in Ghana yeah. is almost non-existent. Right. Yes. And then if we want to have some part of it in Ghana, someone has to take the first step. So you want yes. to do that? So I want to volunteer, something like that. I want to be the one to help develop. Yeah, there are a few institutions I know in Ghana, Ghana that do that, and a yes. few engineers I know yes. in that field. So you want to join them? 
and do more things for Ghana. Yeah, like I mean, in any way I can help with the technological development of the country. Mm. I'm okay with that. Sounds exciting. So let me ask you about campus life. Do you have a social life? How is life on tech campus mm, like for you? I'm an introvert. Okay. <laughs> no, Tell I don't go. No, no, like, I keep to myself. So do you have friends? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I can That's fair. You. She's in the background, just waiting for you. Yeah, Are that you is like, true. You have two friends. <laughs> yeah, but like, a lot of people know me. Okay. You're yeah. popular. No, no, I'm not that popular, but like, um, I give to you know people to form connections. You know, it's important to make networking. So yeah, okay. that's what I do. So beyond classroom and lecture lecture hall stuff, do you often go out on outreaches and stuff like that? Mm, yeah. When I go out, no. You don't go out like to do like some NGO stuff, you know. No, no. I'm always on campus. Yeah. All the time. Yes. Okay. I've enjoyed talking to you, I don't know why. <laughs> you know. So, thank you for talking to us. <laughs> okay. Benedicta, right? Yes. Alright, so thank you for talking to us. Do I? I'm saying thank you for talking to me. Yes. On, yes. on TV. Yes. Because I know it's difficult for you to talk to me on no, TV. No, no, no. So, thank you. We'll talk later. Mm. I'll see you sometime. Yes. Okay, so um, I just spoke to Benedita. She's a second year student, uh, physics student at KNUST. She has CVF hearing impairment. She wants to be a robotic engineer, something that really sounds exciting.